Hey guys, in this video we'll be going behind the scenes into the making of the short film, If I Could Tell You. I'm just really grateful for all of you and all the talent that you bring and all the skill. Also just the heart because this obviously means a lot to me. Well said, Katie. Let's just kick some butt today. I mean, it's awesome on this set to have a bunch of people that are like very good at what they do specifically. What are you doing, Scott? So, I'm the gaffer. Okay. Slash, basically, whatever they tell me to do. Right now, setting I'm setting up this 300D in the piano. This is called a Fresnel, and it basically, so it takes a giant light and focuses it down to a smaller area. What's your role here, Hannah? I'm the project manager. So I'm responsible for all the details, making sure things get done on time, and making sure Katie and everyone else don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. We got 15 minutes left for this scene, guys. <laughs> if we want to stay only an hour behind. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who gets to yell at them if they're doing things too slowly. Right now, I'm making sure that anything that's not supposed to be in here gets taken out, and that all of the props get moved in. Like these Dunkin' Those Donuts cups? need to go. <laughs> I am doing makeup and hair and wardrobe. Okay, what kind of look are you going for right here? Noelle is kind of just lounging at her house. So this is a little bit of a no makeup makeup look. I am gonna be operating as the boom operator okay. for the short film. So I'm just getting set up with some headphones so that I can hear exactly what I'm doing. It's a portable recorder, mm -hmm. so it's battery powered, allows us to capture footage without having to be tethered to anything. Okay. We got some outdoor shoots going on later on, so it's gonna be super helpful for that. Today we're shooting indoors, um, and we should be uh, far enough away from the actors. We're not gonna get any wind bleed into it, so as of right now, there's no need for any shield or anything like that. Gotcha. What are you working on, James? Oh, we're just pumping some haze. We're adding haze to create a little bit of a cinematic atmosphere, but also adds a little bit of uh, melancholy and kind of dreariness to it. It's a good way to add like a little bit of depth to your shot and a little bit of atmosphere. Um, but like anything, like you don't want to go crazy overusing it or anything. Someone manually doing that, or is it? So this is simulating a TV reflection. creating a little forced perspective so we can have a coffee mug in the foreground while um, our character is playing piano. So if the table was lower, you would not be able to see the coffee cup in the foreground. What do we have, 15 minutes until the first scene? How are you feeling? I'm um, excited. Um, yeah, feeling all the feelings. A little, a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, a little bit sad and a little bit happy and all of the things. This is really a very personal story, mm -hmm. so it matters a lot to me. You gotta bring yourself into this space, this head space. Um, sometimes it can be really dark or sad or troubling or happy, and you just gotta make sure you get right back into it, so. I enjoy the challenge, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just trying to always be thinking as if I was Noelle, not not just like, what would she do, but like really be her in the moment, that's helping a lot. How are you guys feeling today? Good. I'm really good. Yeah? Excited, happy. So it's my job to kind of ensure that the vision of the film comes across through production. Uh, I kind of work between all the departments to make sure that the film gets made and the story gets told um, as best as it can, can be told. I talked to Logan and he mentioned that he wants this side to be more of key light and this side to be fill. Um, and it'll hopefully create this nice split across uh, the actors' faces um, and create a lot more tension and drama. Hi, my name's John. Right now we're just grabbing a couple extra scenes of this picture frame of Katie and her mom for uh, a couple of cut-in sequences in the beginning of the film. This role has been 
really one of my dream roles. I found out very quickly that my story and Katie's story almost mirror each other's identically. This whole story is about talking to your younger self, and in a weird way, he's almost talking to his younger self by talking to me. I felt in my heart that I had to do this project. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm playing a young mom here in this short film. Have you done acting before? Oh, no. No? <laughs> it's a very sad moment. I just like thinking of my mom also. That's me, yep. <laughs> Can you tell me about how you know Katie? Oh, she's uh, my daughter's coach in modern day music. One of the hopes that I have for this whole project is just that um, we can talk about the things that are really hard and start to show people that you're not alone. If the story, um, you know, reaches one, two, a hundred people, but um, can really just help them feel seen and help people know that, um, you know, there's beauty even in the bleakest parts of our lives, then. Um, I think we did a job well done.